U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson met Qatari Sheikh Tamim Al Thani and Foreign Minister Mohammed Bil Al Thani in Doha. Qatar and Bahrain are home to the largest U.S. military bases in the Middle East. Tillerson has also initiated talks between the warring Arab world over funding of terrorism, but nothing has come out of the effort so far. In a major blow to Pak apologists, the people of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir have raised their voice over Pakistan's duplicious stand on terrorism. The protesters slammed the Pakistani government and the army for providing a safe haven for terrorists. A hostage-taking incident took place at a bowling alley in Warwickshire. The police department said that the forces are still investigating the incident. It did not confirm the reports of an armed standoff and provided no details except to say that the incident was not terror-related. An air ambulance was sent to the scene and there are no casualties so far. Uh, one of the staff came up to us and just quietly whispered in my ear to leave. Uh, and I initially thought it was a uh, you know fire alarm or something like that. And I, I said, you know, what's the problem? We're halfway through a game. And he said, there's a gunman. And I looked up and there was a guy probably 20 or 30 feet away walking towards us with a, a, a sawn off shotgun over it, sort of slung over his shoulder, if you like. Bangladeshi Foreign Minister A.H. Mahmood Ali urged India to contribute towards putting pressure on Myanmar to find a peaceful solution to the Rohingya crisis. We further urged India to contribute towards exerting sustained pressure on Myanmar to find a peaceful solution to the crisis, including sustainable return of all Rohingyas to their homeland. UK Minister Rory Stewart has openly spoken about the need for humanitarian aid in the Syrian city of Raqqa. The minister said that there is a huge need for international partnerships to come together and support Raqqa. The fall of Raqqa marks a major defeat for the Islamic State group, which has seen its self-styled Islamic Caliphate steadily shrink since last summer. One of the ways in which the British government has been different, I think, from other members of the international community is we have been able to move quite quickly. But this is just the beginning. It will be necessary to bring together many more funds from many other partners, particularly from the Gulf, because there are huge needs. Nearly 300,000 people, for example, have been displaced. Thousands of people gathered in Myanmar's administrative capital to show their support for their country's leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, and her government's handling of the Rohingya crisis. Many of them carried images of Suu Kyi and held banners which had messages of support for her on them. Hundreds of people attended a rally in Stockholm in support of the Me Too social media campaign launched following allegations of rape against Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. In a show of solidarity, women and men from around the world have been using the hashtag to reveal the extent of sexual assault and harassment. The rally was attended by Sweden's Minister for Gender Equality, who called on men to use their power because she said that that was the only way to make a change.